Okay, so here are my blank pages in my mixed media journal. So with a mixed media journal, you have thicker pages. It's recommended to gesso the page before you paint, but since I'm painting in layers, I've practiced many times with painting the gesso first. And my first layer, I'm just going to use as a gesso, basically. I've made some gesso um, into a white paint by just adding some water into gesso. And that way, since I use so much white, um, I get a, a lot more for, my, for the money, buying a big container of gesso and then adding water to it to make a white paint. Okay, so a lot of you see these backgrounds on YouTube, background painted pages, and then you try it. And if you're not happy with your pages, I'll give you a few hints here. So if you pick two primary, not three, three can make mud, pick two primary colors. This time I'm going to pick yellow and blue. Another way to do it would be to pick two colors next to each other on the color wheel or two warm and two cool colors. That way your first layer is going to be harmonious. The colors will mix. It's just your first layer. So play around. Don't worry how it looks. Some of it will be covered up. Okay. And I also wanted you to see, I use an old gift card, and that's a really fun way to spread paint. I use a brush too, I have water handy. So I think first I'll just go ahead and add a little white. I also have a spray bottle with water handy, in case I want to do some dripping or something. Okay, so I like to make my pages cohesive, one big page spread. And a lot of fun I have playing around with paint is in the first layer and every layer, but the first layer, I don't worry what it's going to look like. Now I've been painting for a long time, so I've kind of learned that if I'm going to play with the color, I'm going to put some on one side and the other. Here I'm just kind of doing a balancing little trick. But I, you don't have to worry about that on your first layer. You can do that much later. So, okay. So since, of course, we know yellow and blue make green, I'm just going to go ahead. This is really dark. So, I'm going to maybe do a little drip. Now I just, you can just use water on your brush to spread it around also, but I enjoy using a little bit of the spray bottle. Now I know a lot of these videos you see are sped up, and this might be a little boring, but I just wanted to narrate a bit how you don't have to worry what it's going to look like in your first layer. Let it be intuitive. I'm only using two colors at first, just so because I know they're going to blend well. And a little white because that'll be my tint, my lighter color. That doesn't look too much lighter. And also, you can use black. I wait for the black because I'm afraid of making mud at first. When I let this layer dry. Okay, so I think I'll take a little yellow and blue. And make a little green. That's very dark, so I'll, I'll have a lighter version of this later. Okay, so why am I telling you this? Again, just your first layer, you want the colors not to make mud, basically. And it's going to get a little dark, so that's why I'll leave some areas light and then some areas dark basically playing around with light and dark. Okay, believe it or not, I'm almost done with the first layer. Just a few minutes of playing around, really fun. 
You can also experiment with just some interesting mark making. Go for your intuition. You know what designs you like in journaling and life. Find two colors that you love. I'm just in the mood for watery, summery colors. And I'm going to add a third color in the next one. Well, more than one color. But this doesn't look like much now. So I'm going to let it dry and come back and do a second layer. Also, I just have some paper in between. You can also use wax paper in between your pages underneath so that you don't get paint stuck onto the next page. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, second layer. So as you can see, even though I was just playing, I just made a couple conscious notes to myself to have a light area and maybe some a darker area and maybe a middle value area. I just mixed a light green with the same ultramarine blue, white and yellow. And I'm going to need more colors soon, but I think I'm just going to create some texture now. This green is in between the yellow and the blue, so I'll do that over here. I'm just dragging this card and, and it just makes make some nice, interesting textures. Many ways to create textures. You can find all kinds of tools. You can use a fork, a comb. Um, this was a cover for garlic or potato bag, same thing. Might want to put a little paint in there. Doesn't always work. You gotta play with the consistency of paint. You can, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it, it is working, giving little bits of texture. Okay, so now what? Now I'm just I'm gonna introduce a new color, this second layer. I mixed and made more colors out of the original ultramarine blue, yellow, and white. But I think I've exhausted those colors. I feel like I need a new focal point or something new. So I introduced introducing some aqua turquoise or teal. Um I'm not white. You're gonna learn this intuitively what you like. I just know for myself, sorry about this, that I wanted a lighter color than out of the bottle. I'm just going to just make it a little softer. If I wanted darker, I would add black or burnt umber. Now, let's see. Hmm, I have a lot of blue here, a lot of yellow. I'm just going to play around right here. And maybe in between the yellow and the dark blue down here. This is intuitive, but I'm just looking for something that I want to view as far as pleasing to the eye. And this color I just introduced reminds me of the ocean. We have the dark blues, and this is kind of um, in between, mid-value. Now, I can do all kinds of texturizing too, remember that. So with your second layer, it's so fun to Play around. Look at that. I, you can see the first layer through there. You play around with all kinds of tools. You can even scrape words. So, and now I think I might just add a little white somewhere now. It's interesting to put white in again in certain areas because it kind of gives a soft edge. If you want a few soft edges, that's what I suggest. Another reason to add white would be maybe you want to frame out the page a little. So I'm going to probably add a collage element here somewhere or there. 
I can do writing up here where it's really white. I could use black ink. I could put an image down here. Or I could use white ink in the dark area. So many opportunities when you're setting up your journal page. I'm not locking myself in right now, but I'm starting on the second layer. I'm starting to think about, besides just playing, how to make the page have a, a calm area so I can put in imagery. You can draw your own imagery. A lot of our journalists add stencils next or magazine collage pieces. So without this being a drawing class, we're just going to use a magazine image for this background when we get to that point. So again, just starting with a few colors at a time, it's relaxing. I, once in a while I buy stencils. I really try not to spend too much on my journal. And I've been reusing these abstract stencils for a while. Let's see. Hmm, I don't know. I like kind of making a border, maybe there. I just pick one. And maybe, maybe just adding some white. I like these little sponge brushes. You can make marks with them, and you can also dab your stencil with them. Less is more for me with stenciling. That's why you kind of pat. Just making a little subtle, almost a frame. I could continue a couple more down here, a different one. Why do I keep saying frame? Well, this is a journal page. So I'm kind of giving myself just sort of a edge. And it's, it's subtle. I could, I'm not making a black line all the way around or anything. Um, I can do the same over here. I can do that later, playing with little stencils and texture. So as you can see, this is starting to get a lot of texture. I left this area alone and made a second layer here. I'm not sure what's going to go there yet, so I'm going to take my time and just let this dry again. Walk away, get some other work done. That's the beauty of the art journal at home.